I'm on my way to go meet a guy with an acoustic guitar for sale. This guitar is called a Global. And he's selling it for super cheap. It's the type of thing that I, you know, I cannot pass up. Here's the new guitar I just bought. It's called Global. First thing you notice is that hummingbird inspired pit guard. Boy, the top on this flame looks really nice on the camera. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is take off these steel strings and put on some nylon strings. Uh, so this has got a zero fret. What else do we notice about this guitar? Uh, let me grab a flashlight so we can look in the in the sound hole a little better. All right, Global Musical Instrument Company Ltd. Manufacturer of Sorrento, Nola, Bolero, Sonata, and Torino quality guitars. All right, well, do we see any markings in here? No model number. No origin manufacturer. Although my research has shown that all of these global guitars were made in Korea. Oh, and check it out. We have a gum label, partial gum label that says made in Korea. So when I took the strings off this guitar, I noticed that they had damaged uh, this, this bridge piece. This passing bridge piece broke from the pressure of uh, the steel strings on this classical guitar. It was built for nylon strings and steel strings. Uh, steel strings put double the amount of tension on the guitar than nylon strings would. And they simply aren't made for that. Uh, they're meant to be, you know, light and airy and play classical music on it. Uh, the the bracing inside is different. It's not meant to. Uh, it's not meant for that pressure. And the necks are softer too. And the necks usually on most classical guitars uh, don't have a truss rod. Uh, so putting steel strings on your classical guitar. Uh, will really damage it. These strings were old and rusty. They'd probably been on this guitar for quite a while. They'd probably been tuned up and sitting in the closet for a long time. And uh, and that's sad, but hopefully I will be able to get this guitar back in playing condition. I might have another plastic bridge piece that I can uh, make fit in here, or I might have to buy a cheap one online. If it wasn't, if it was all there, I could possibly even glue it back together. But it's missing a piece; is broken off and is lost. Boy, it is remarkable. the The flame, the figuring on this top, looks so sharp. It's just a cheap uh, plywood top guitar, but the figuring is really nice. Here's that broken bridge. Turns out I did have a plastic bridge piece in my box of parts. It didn't fit, but I sanded it down until it did. What do we know about global guitars? Not a lot really. They were made in Korea in the 70s and in the early 80s. They made acoustic and electric guitars and basses and some amps as well. There's a connection to Harmony and K, but it's confusing. Those department store brands had a kind of incestuous relationships with each other. Different manufacturers making models for different companies, slapping different logos on the headstock. This guitar, we have no model number or serial number. Being made in Korea, there's no dating system like you'd find in American or Japanese made guitars from that era. Best we can do is make a rough guess from the logo on the headstock. Let's get some strings on this guitar and then we'll take a look at some pictures.
First up, we have an example of the globe style logo used starting in the early 1970s. Next up, we have the block style font, which is on the guitar that I have, used in uh, the mid 70s. And then finally, we have the script logo used from the late 70s into the early 1980s. But even this rough dating system may not be entirely correct. If anyone has any info about these weird old Korean made guitars that could help us out, please leave me a comment. Your input is valuable. Thanks a lot for watching.